The following example demonstrates the workflow in translating the conceptual model and the numerical grid to mod flow file format or to numerical model. Once you have the properties defined for your conceptual model and your bound conditions, you design your numerical grid. This can be shown in a 3D environment. And you can display multiple numerical grids and generate various numerical grids of different types, different layers, different uh, resolution with refinement or local grid refinement. These can be colored differently and displayed at the same time in the 3D environment. So I have my conceptual model and my numerical grid. I select the translation option. A wizard will display where you specify the mod flow settings such as the output path, simulation type, date, and time. You select your simulator, mod flow 2000, 2005, or with LGR, local grid refinement, and you specify your property package as well. Layer property flow, LPF, is the default. The numerical grid list here displays which grids you have created for your conceptual model, and you can easily select which one you want to use. You specify steady state or transient flow, and then your start date and start time. Click on the next screen, and you'll see a summary of the boundary conditions that are available in the numerical model with the various packages. And at the bottom, you have a list of the stress periods that will be generated based on your boundary conditions. The stress periods can be shown with an absolute or relative uh, time format. You click on the next screen and the translator will start, so it generates the various mod flow files such as the name file, basic package, river package, well package, etc. also log any errors or warnings that are encountered during the translation. Once you click finish you'll see a list of the files that are generated here in your hard drive. And those files can be loaded into Visual Mod Flow using the Import Mod Flow option. So you start your Visual Mod Flow, select Import Mod Flow, browse to the location where your Mod Flow name file is. Specify uh, file name and path for the Visual Mod Flow project that will be generated. And you're presented with a wizard that summarizes the packages that will be imported into Visual Mod Flow. This screen lists the lay number of layers and the dimensions. And in this screen, you specify the start date, start time, and the source units. I know from 3D Build that I worked with uh, meters per day, so I'm just going to specify that. And click on the Finish button. So after the wizard, the Visual Mod Flow files will be generated and you can go to the input and look at the grid properties and bounding conditions. The first screen you have your grid, you can see that the cells that are outside your conceptual model area are automatically set to inactive during the translation. If we go back to the conceptual model in 3D Builder and look at a plan view of this along with the numerical grid, You'll see you have your numerical grid and the polygon that represents your conceptual model area. So the cells that are outside there are set to inactive for you. Now looking at the property distribution, you can look at a cross section of the properties in Visual Mod Flow along a selected row or column. You'll see the properties uh, that are assigned to the appropriate layers from your property zones in your conceptual model. Layers that pinch out are automatically assigned properties from the layer above or below, so you don't need to manually do that. That's done for you automatically during the translation. And finally, the bounding additions. You can see the river that's uh, assigned in the grid cells from my conceptual model. And the constant head that was assigned along the south boundary of the conceptual model. 
So at this point, you can proceed to the run and translation of the numerical model, or you can do cell-by-cell -cell modifications to properties, else elevations, etc.